Pat, what you predict, what I predict, what everybody else predict isn't going to matter once they kick off, of course, on Saturday night. But um, I don't know if this is the feedback that you're getting from the various, um, you know, interactions that you have with fans. But it seems like every Ohio State fan I come across has a 50 something next to Ohio State and a 20 something next to it. Like, I never come across anybody on the Ohio State side and really even neutral college football fans that think that this is going to be a game. I, I don't really get it myself, but. Most people, again, whether neutral or Ohio State fans, of course, just are not regarding this as a close game. It is interesting. And I think this, you know, opening lines came out a week or so ago and Ohio State was something like a 15 point favorite. And, you know, if I'm Notre Dame, if I'm Marcus Freeman, that's going up in the locker room. I, I'm going to use that underdog mentality going into Ohio Stadium. No one thinks we can win. You know, whoever, whoever he can get quotes from to, to put around the, the facility, I would do it just because, you know, I, I think that that will certainly motivate. If there's any needed extra motivation for Notre Dame, um, I think that certainly could, could play a part in something you could use. Look, I think the, the idea, and it was the same when we talked about Oregon last year, was that, you know, how do you stop this Ohio State offense? And for the most part, last year, they weren't stopped. But in those games against Michigan and Ohio State – or Michigan and Oregon, excuse me, uh, 28 and 27 points were, was what that offense put up. And that's nothing – you know, in a game like that, that there's nothing uh, wrong with that. But when you had a defense like Ohio State did, it, it kind of flipped on its head a little bit. So this year, I think people are still viewing Ohio State's offense at that, that same level, though Ryan Day was quick to point out during fall camp that this offense hasn't done anything in its current iteration. But I think people expect it to. I think Ryan Day expects it to. And then you expect an improvement in the defense, and I think that's where you're getting some of these scores. I'm a bit more on your side. I think this will be a, uh, a closer game than a lot of people are projecting. Um, you know, I haven't done any sort of, of scoreline yet, but I do think that, that – this is going to be a battle. I don't. I just don't expect Ohio State to walk away with this game. Now, maybe the final score ends up being a little bit more that, than the game actually played out. We see that happen a lot of times. Um, but I do think this is going to be a good game. I, you know, maybe Notre Dame is not actually the number five team in the country if you broke down talent and returning experience and things like that. But I certainly think they're top ten, and I certainly think they'll have something to prove at Ohio Stadium. The thing about that Oregon game in particular, and Michigan to a lesser extent, was the 28 points was also accompanied with like some ridiculous yardage total of 640 or whatever the number was. And that just tells me that Oregon at least made them earn their drives down the field. They took time, they didn't get burned, and they, they made them drive the ball down the field. And then number two, obviously, the Oregon offense was on the field most of the day and kept C.J. Stroud and the receivers on the sideline, and that's part of the recipe as well. And I'm sure Notre Dame has taken note of that. 